I'm going to Malta alone. It would be my first time traveling alone. The main goal of this trip for me to have some me time, to be alone, to knit, to read a book, to sit in a cafe, a nice cafe place, drinking coffee, without anything disturbing me, without anyone who need my help, who need my attention, only me, with myself, in peace. Isn't it perfect vacation for a mom? <laughs> So let's go and pack my suitcase. The idea of going on a journey alone was spontaneous and at first I was very excited. But during the packing stage I started to get nervous. I worried that I might feel bored and lonely. How will I have dinner alone? Won't I be scared? Hello from Malta. The sound probably a bit different because I'm in my hotel room. I use another microphone, so I'm sorry if there were jumps. I hope I will manage to fix it during the editing of this video. I would like to tell you about the projects I took with me. First one I will show you. It's the socks I knit in with my leftovers. If you saw my last video, I was talking about uh, my plans, what I'm going to do with them. Uh, in this video, I was um, I went through my sock yarn and I made a few combinations for the socks I would like to knit. And that's the first pair I have started. Here we are. And I decided I have here like this part. It's a Lana Grossa's tweet. It's a sock yarn. It's very nice yarn. I like it. And that's the leftovers, like both of his yarn leftovers. But I have a lot of the leftovers for Lana Grossa tweet. I think I have more than five, uh, 50 grams. And I also have 10 grams of this yarn, unfortunately, again, I forgot the name, I will put it on the screen. And I decided to use it for the leg part of a sock. I was afraid here is not enough. I wasn't afraid. I was sure, I was like absolutely sure 10 grams would, won't be enough to need a cuff or to need a heel or to use it on the top part. So what I did, I took my 10 grams uh, ball, I divided it by on like on two balls by five grams each. And I decided to use this yarn on the leg part. Here how it looks. I like it and actually I like this yarn a lot. Uh, it, it's very wooly. Uh, it's very nice, not itchy, but still wooly. Uh, I like it. And yeah, here you can see how focus on the sock, not on me. The only thing <laughs> it's like not for myself in future. 10 grams actually is enough to use it on heel and on a toe part or for example, use it for a calf only. I'm not sure it would be enough to use for a calf plus toe part. Um, maybe, maybe I should try, but for my next socks, I, that's probably what I will do. That's these socks. And then something strange happened. My plan originally was I would work on these socks because it's socks for my husband's grandma. Uh, she asked me, asked me to knit the socks, socks for her and how you can tell no to grandma. You can't. So, so I, and it's pretty urgent. I have to finish them before my uh, before this week, uh, the, before the end of this week. Yeah, so I started to work on it. And also I had, I have a friend here, she lives on Malta and I was going to meet her. And like one day before my flight, I become super nervous. I had socks ready for her. I wanted to give her socks and I had a pair, but I become so nervous. It's not beautiful. She won't like it. I don't know, <laughs> it was like strange, very, very strange, very urgent feeling to cast on another socks, which she will like more. And now here I'm thinking like it's what's crazy to think I will finish socks in a day during my flight. 
ah, <laughs> what? No, of course not. And I won't be able to do so. But I have cast it on another pair of socks anyway. And because I was so scared and for some reason I was thinking I need to finish it super quickly. I uh, already have one sock <laughs> ready. That's, that's crazy. You can see what my anxiety can do. You know? <laughs> crazy part about this. <laughs> I gifted her original pair of socks I made for her. And she liked it. <laughs> I don't know why I was afraid. And it's very nice socks. Um, I, I have no explanation here. It was some urgent, strange feeling doubt in myself. It's gone now. I, I'm i okay with it because I have now one sock ready and I like it. I like this color. I used Alize sock yarn here and it's very nice yarn. I like it. It's pretty thick. I used uh, needles five, uh, 2.25 and I knit very loosely and sometimes I have problems. For example, for this Lana Grossa tweed, I think needles size 2 would be better in my case but here 2.25s are perfect because yarn is very thick and it's very nice and i like the color actually this is my favorite color what i'm going to do with these socks next when i will come back home i will add i will use double stitch to add something here i'm not sure i was thinking about adding a heart probably valentine's day uh, made me to think about this but uh, originally I also was thinking about may adding a dragon or something like something like this from F fantasy words we'll see first I have to finish a second sock third project I have with me it's my poetry pullover here is it I took it with me because I thought oh yeah I thought I will have time uh, to focus on it because when I need uh, this project I have to be focused I can watch something I can do something in parallel but it's more like a noise on the background I can't really watch a movie or TV show or talk with someone I need to concentrate I won't say it's super difficult uh, thing to work on so I like need to complete silence around me no it's not and i managed to like in most of the cases i managed to remember the the pattern for the row and i more or less understand what i have to do for the next one but i'm so afraid to make a mistake <laughs> i'm trying to be to work on it and be very focused during this that's how the pattern looks i like the color of the yarn i like the pattern I think I'm doing a really good job with it. I'm very proud of myself. I think I would wear it a lot. I'm like I'm in love. I really love this project. And I'm not so sure I will have much time to to make a big progress. I would be very happy if I will finish yoke for this. We'll see. We'll see. As you may recall, the goal of this trip was to spend some time alone, relax and enjoy my own company. It has turned out to be a lovely way to travel. I visited Ndina, a fortified city in the northern region of Malta that served as uh, the Iceland capital from antiquity to the medieval period. I enjoyed the city with its narrow streets, beautiful architecture and chic cafes. I had a great time on my own and to ensure I wouldn't get bored during lunch, I took a book with me and socks to knit. Now I'm planning to visit some yarn shops here and uh, see what they have there. Maybe I will buy some yarn for myself. Um, yeah, let's go. The first yarn store I visited was called John Gregory the Wool Shop. I found a good selection of cotton in various yarn weights along with some wool. I was extremely pleased with my visit. It was so cozy. You can find the link to this shop along with all the relevant information in the description. It turned out that winter is a great time to visit Malta. You can go hiking and see the beautiful sea, fields full of flowers and a lot of stunning views.
The next day my friend showed me another yarn store near my hotel. It's a small and cozy shop called Sewing Center Valley Shop. Here I found a nice selection of yarn from brand Katya, beautiful cotton in many different colors. You know what surprised me? There was no sock yarn in these two yarn shops. I'm back in Amsterdam and I want to show you the yarn I bought. Since there was a huge selection of cotton yarn, I bought myself some cotton. I bought it because of the colors. I would be honest with you, I have no idea how to use it. Yeah, and it's the same person who filmed a video about working on my stash, cleaning it up. Yeah, it won't be stripes, it's what it would be like kind of gradient from one color to another. I have 200 grams here and I hope it would be enough for some summer top or maybe I will think about a bag. It's a Katia Palette hand painted yarn. I think it's 100% cotton. Yeah, it is. Another yarn I bought for myself, it's a Mondial Australia, I think. That's how it's called. It's 100% superwash wool. I think it's a decay weight. It's uh, 50 grams per 100 meters and I'm going to use it for a hat or maybe for another hood. I didn't decide yet. I bought uh, 150 grams. That's it about the yarn. I didn't buy anything else because I'm not a huge fan of cotton yarn and I'm currently trying to clean my stash from it so I decided I don't need more cotton. At least now, maybe in summer for a project but not random stuff. And I haven't seen sock yarn there. It's good, yeah? Because that's the kind of yarn I will buy spontaneously during my trips, during my vacation, when I don't have any projects on my mind and I'm just seeing nice yarn, sock yarn my way to go in these kind of situations. So I didn't buy any. And since I'm working on my scrubs and I decided to knit socks using my scrubs only for a while, that's a good part. I My sock yarn stash didn't grow. And I finished a pair of socks, just a simple vanilla socks. It's the best uh, trip project for me. And I also would like to say a few words about my trip in common. I was really afraid I will get bored. I was afraid I won't feel safe. I was afraid I will... I won't know what to do with myself and I was happy to learn it's not the case. I was happy to learn. I feel myself completely fine alone. It was fun for me. It was nice. I relaxed. I have... I wasn't bored at all. I always had stuff to think of. Uh, if I didn't want to think about anything, I had my book with me. I have my knitting. My It was great. I really liked it. I won't say like everything, everyone should do it. If you're scared to travel alone, do it. No, <laughs> do you do you. Be safe. Uh, Check, check it out with yourself, think about it, and if you don't feel comfortable with this thought, maybe you shouldn't do it, but I liked it. I definitely will travel alone again. I mean, it's nice to travel with my family too. I, I'm i not saying I, <laughs> I won't travel with my husband or with my kid anymore. I will, but I also find out that's the kind of trips I need once in a while. And that's it for today. Please let me know, do you travel alone? Do you enjoy it? Maybe you travel for work and you don't like these uh, trips or maybe you do it for yourself once in a while. I'm curious to know. And yeah, see you next time. Happy knitting, happy crocheting.